Hey friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I am working on the new beta version of Chief Architect Premier version X11 on my MacBook computer. Today's tip is about the new feature notes. I can do plan notes here and I want you to see how there's a difference between these notes that are on this uh, layer set and changing to electrical, I get a whole new set of notes. I want to show you how we do that. Stick around. So how we do that, of course, is controlling the layers. And what I'm going to do is set up in my template, which I will have available for sale, um, notes and we're going to start off with making sure we have the appropriate note type management that's in our text drop down note type management i have different available note types come out of the box here i'm going to add a new one called as built because i want you know some as built notes maybe um, I might also want some demo notes. Uh, let's rename that to as built notes, demo notes, uh, floor plan notes, um, general and framing notes, electrical notes. Uh, we might want um, framing ceiling notes, framing floor notes, and framing roof notes. Just to name a few here. I'll start with that. And I'm going to go into my default settings under text, my notes here. All right, as built. I'm going to rename that, um, rename as built notes. And the whole point of going through this is just like with our text notes, our CAD layers, or our text um, layers, our CAD layers, our dimension layers, in order, to, in order to flip back and forth between layer sets quickly and, and have the appropriate information on each layer set, um, we have to have that controlled by layers. So I'm going to set up my defaults uh, so that I can just move quickly back and forth. I'm going to edit the as-built notes that I, I entered earlier. Um, these are going to be my as-built notes and this is what's going to control, I'm going to be able to control separate note schedules um, for individual notes and have those um, sorted that way. Um, my line style, I'm going to go on to text existing. Text style, I can use the layer um, for that. Object information, I don't need any of this information right now. So just the um, text above the line, I'll leave as that macro, simple schedule number. As built notes is fine shape generated from the schedule, that's fine, and size generated from the schedule is fine as well. At this point I don't see any need to insert any default text or change this. We could change this to a different um, specific object specific note here, but um, I, don't, I don't need to this time anyway. Um, so notes, there's my as-built notes. I'm going to copy this. Um, let's, yeah, let's copy this and call it um, demo notes. All right, now that I've got all of these note defaults in here with their appropriate 
um, layers and uh, note types set up, I can change all my annotation sets to, so as built, I can change to my as built notes. Working set will be default. I haven't set up all of my all of my annotation sets yet, but um, let's say for instance I want quarter inch scale. I'm going to copy that and call this my CD plan annotations. Current CAD layer will be CD CAD CD plan dimensions will be CD plan dimensions. Rich text is CD plan rich text. Notes is CD plan notes. Active layer set, there you go, and so on. Once again, um, once I get all of this set up with the appropriate um, text dimension, CAD lines, notes now, and all of the annotation sets along with the saved plan views and such, I will be offering that this template for sale on my website. So be watching for that information. If you don't want to buy my template, that's fine. Now you know how to set up the notes. Um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, you've, if you've learned something, I would appreciate the encouragement of a thumbs up. As always, subscribe. I think on this side. Um, check out the videos and the playlist as well. Hope you have a good week.